Christian virtues soak deep into a person such that the virtue can be displayed in situations where you wouldn't expect to see it. I want to talk a bit about two Christian virtues today, joy and humility. Hi, I'm Warren, the rector here at St. Columbus. Glad you could join me for my message of the day. Christian virtues are not just a response to what's going on around us. Uh, we don't display joy as a virtue just because I've had a good day. I mean, we can be joyful about that, but not just because of that. It's, we display joy because there's something deep going on within us. And of course, that can recognise something good going on around us. But also, joy can be displayed, can be felt, can live within us in situations where you would never expect joy to live. It's Joy is to be seen more as it's embedded in our character rather than provoked by what's going on around us. We can still see it as an emotion, but it's arising from within rather than provoked from without. Humility is another Christian virtue that's uh, so important. It's for, humility is not based on a self-assessment, so to speak, comparing ourselves to others and then putting ourselves down or thinking that we aren't worthy or that um, we don't have much to offer or something like that, that we're no good for some reason. Humility as a virtue is soaked into who we are, a truth about ourselves, and it's not a truth about others in comparison to us. It's a truth about us. It's a truth, a truth, truth about us in our relationship with God. Humility as a Christian virtue is entirely compatible with self-confidence, for instance, and in compatible with an honest appraisal of you know, our gifts and our abilities and our willingness to use those gifts and abilities. It's a spiritual confidence, if you like. It's knowing who and whose we are, God's beloved. That's the, the heart of humility. And to know who and whose we are, to let that soak deep into our, into who we are, into our identity, enables us to be humble people. And because we know who and whose we are, we don't have to puff ourselves up or put ourselves down. We don't have to put other people down or puff them up. Humility, as a Christian virtue, enables true community because it undoes that kind of comparison of self to someone else or, or between us. It undoes rivalry, whether that rivalry is expressed in competition or in pride or even in self-denigration. So from what I've just said, we can be humble people because of who we are and whose we are. It's not a temporary state or action, more an inner disposition. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.